Why is this allowed in an elementary school? This should not be allowed in a children's school, bro. Look at the last one. So that would appear to be crafts for Kamala. And look, you can call me a far right extremist, but I don't think that any politics should be involved in the public education system, especially at such a young age. And I don't mean like an eighth grader shouldn't take a government class. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this is clearly unacceptable. And if the roles were hypothetically reversed, they never would be because the education system is incredibly far left in America. I mean, it's almost unbelievable how far left it is. But if the roles were hypothetically reversed, the people on the left would be absolutely outraged. There would be a CNN article about this. But because it's in favor of Kamala Harris, this is deemed as okay. And look, I'm sure that the school technically has a policy that says you can't do this or technically you shouldn't be doing this. But again, the entire education system in America is very, very far left. I know from personal experience working in elementary schools, I've I studied elementary education for three and a half years. Okay, I graduated with a hybrid degree between education and business, but I've worked in public schools. I've worked in early childhood centers. I've done before and after school care programs. Everybody in that bubble is a raging leftist. Think hate has no home here signs, pride flags, BLM flags, all that stuff standard issue. And I just don't think that the public education classroom is a place for all of those things. Anyways, it's clips like that that make me think to myself, huh, maybe society is screwed. Welcome back to another episode of Society is Screwed. Look at some clips, look at some pictures, and we think to ourselves, huh, maybe society is screwed. I've mentioned pictures specifically this time because that's what we're about to take a look at. And hey, before we get into things, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, so this is a workbook page. We're gonna look at a couple of these that is found in a PE class in the public education system. I'm not sure where specifically, but this is in a PE class. Why this needs to be in a physical education class? You know, I'm not sure, and yes, there could be health I understand that health and PE go hand in hand, but this specifically looks like something designed for a very young child. So I'm not quite sure why this is there. I mean, I, under, I, I know why. It's because we're indoctrinating children at a very young age, and I legitimately mean that when I say that. This is indoctrination. You can kind of read near the top. When creating a gender-bred person, we switch out the eggs and flowers and sugar and molasses for identity, expression, attraction, and sex. This helps us understand our gender. Identities, our brain and our mouth, womanness and manness. Attractions in our heart. That's our sexuality, romantic attraction. Expression. Masculinity, femininity. Sex, anatomical sex. It doesn't mean you're a male or female. It's what your sex assigned at birth is. So this is legitimately sickening to see, in my opinion. Because, well, one, I don't agree with the entire ideology that this is pushing. But separate from that, okay? Even if, even if I had to say that I liked it, which I don't. But let's play out this hypothetical. Let's say I agree with this. This is clearly targeted towards a very, 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 very young person, okay? If you have to explain sex and gender to somebody using a gender person, okay, a gingerbread man, that person is too young to be having that conversation. So then we talk about adding our identity and our pronouns and a cup of expression. Like, look at this. What is, what is this? This is not education. Education is reading, it's writing, it's math, it's science, it's social studies. Not a gender-bred, gingerbread gender person. Let's see what else we got here. A court of attraction, a sprinkle of sex. I mean, this is, and look, look, look at the bottom here. Look, any good cookie recipe starts by mixing the liquid ingredients above. After all, Gender is fluid. This is what they're teaching children. Gender agenda. 
What's the difference between gender and sex? What influences our identity about what, ex uh, what expected make or female behavior is? Do you think the way we behave in romantic relationship relationships is influenced by our gender? How and why? What are some stereotypes of gender and relationships? And then you can notice in the on the right hand side here, uh, you probably could catch just a little bit of it. It's a transgender flag over there. You know, a big part of the reason why I left the Democrat Party is because of things like this, because this is deemed as acceptable. This is deemed as being inclusive and nice. But this is not being nice and inclusive. This is indoctrinating children into a sexual ideology at a very young age where they likely cannot even comprehend these things. And again, just to reiterate, this is getting into our classrooms. Your tax dollars are paying for this under the guise of being kind and caring and empathetic. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think it's em do you think it really shows empathy to teach a fourth grader, a third grader? about the difference between their sex and gender. They're eight, nine years old. They should be in science class, learning to read and write a little bit better. Their PE class should be teaching them about physical education, nutritious foods. That'd be a great lesson. How about that? That's just off the top of the head, okay? And then actual physical education, like locomotive skills. Whoa, what a crazy concept. But instead of teaching children useful skills, we're teaching them whatever this is. Speaking of propagandizing the children, unfortunately, the NFL has decided to sing the Black National Anthem before every single game now. So the season opener was just the other night, and they had black children come out and sing the Black National Anthem. So I remember when they did this at the Super Bowl, I think last year, I remember thinking to myself, this is absolutely pathetic and sad to see. It only causes more division. When you say that there's a black national anthem and then a national anthem for, for everybody else, that's segregation, my friend. And it's not something we should be advocating for. The national anthem is for everybody. And if the case is that there's a white national anthem and a black national anthem, then where's the Asian national anthem where's the hispanic national anthem i mean the national anthem encapsulates all americans and using children to sing this those people those kids are going to now think that this is normal and acceptable and everybody at, at home watching this they're gonna think oh okay the black people have their own very special uh national anthem that's because they're different that's what people are gonna think Using the guise of equity and inclusion and calling out injustice, okay? We are actually, we're taking step backs. This is segregation. This is an awful look. There's similar policies like this in the education system right now. In Illinois, Evanston, Illinois, okay? They have classes for only black students or only Hispanic students under the guise of equity and justice. So what's really happening here? is we're telling everybody we're being nice, kind, and empathetic, and, you know, equitable, and just. But really, we're rolling back the policies back to when we had Jim Crow laws in place. It's just very, very sad to see, and I'm not quite sure how this will ever be turned around. I mean, let's be honest. Once you open these kind of floodgates, how do you roll back on this? Oh, they got rid of the Black National Anthem? That's racist. That's that's going to be the rebuttal that anybody ever tries to say. Isn't it kind of racist to have a black national anthem in the first place? But what do I know? I'm just a straight cis white male, right? Anyways, let me know down in the comments. How does all this nonsense feel to you? Love hearing your feedback. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.